it's a big day for us here at the Seven Valley Railway. Today we're going to unveil something that really is the first of its kind in the UK. It's something we're very proud of, something our volunteers have been working on for the past four years. This is the Hydra Shunter. It's the brainchild of some rather clever people at Vanguard Sustainable Transport Solutions and the University of Birmingham. And for us, at the SVR, it's going to be a game changer. It's, it offers easy decarbonisation. So Heritage Railways are known for steam trains, diesel trains. They are the USP. That's what brings the customers into Heritage Railways. The stuff that goes on behind the scenes is equally as important. So shunting, maintenance, moving vehicles around for operational purposes. Having a zero carbon way of doing that offers a really nice way for Heritage Railways to say that they are working towards decarbonisation. Most importantly for me, it's a great example of technical innovation and it shows you know, how Heritage Railway can be you know, a really relevant part of the wider rail industry, um, which we aspire to be, not, not just a Heritage Railway, we, we aspire to be more than that. Um, but also it's a great people story um, because our younger engineering volunteers led by Jack Baldwin have spent the last four years on this project uh, and it, I have been truly inspired really by the way they've grown in engineering capability themselves so this has taught them about project management it's taught them engineering skills um, and people of that age group are the future of the Seven Valley Railway you know and it's really really encouraging to see you know the breadth of skills and the enthusiasm uh, that these guys have and it's it is, it is inspiring. When this project started it was almost unbelievable it was going to come to fruition I think I mean what were people's early thoughts about it what were the, what were the fears I, I, th I think people thought we were barking Leslie if I'm honest with you that this whole idea that you could convert a car so eight to hydrogen power I, I, I'm sure I know there were plenty of people around there that thought it was a barking idea and that's what innovation is all about sometimes isn't it? it's about pushing the boundaries uh, well the boundaries have been pushed and you can see behind me that you know we have something now that sort of proves the concept and hopefully will be very shortly you know into sort of testing and proof of concept which is great here's the young engineer who's led the team of svr volunteers we've been doing uh full 12 hour shifts or long hours to uh try and get the final bits done a lot of it's been cosmetic um the radiator compartment we have for the front only arrived on wednesday so we've had two days to assemble it and make it fit into a uh, position. So it's been a challenge, but we've got there in the end. It's operating on battery today, which has proven our control systems, the battery power, um, the drive interfaces, all of that stuff has been proven. So the next thing for us now is to start installing the hydrogen equipment. So that's going to happen pretty much straight after today. Um, in two to three months time, we'll be back out here operating on hydrogen, um, which is the next big milestone for us. We have, as you know, probably 60 or more coaches that we have to maintain on the railway. Now our fleet coaches is one of our prized assets really, um, and we rely heavily on shunting locomotives. Uh, and they do use a lot of diesel. Um, and so if this loco can be used on the same sort of duty cycles, which we believe it will be able to, then it will give us a more sustainable method of undertaking carriage maintenance. So that doesn't mean to say that we're you know, going to dispose of the heritage shunter fleet. Of course, we're not going to do that. But this has given us an extra asset uh, and one that's got a slightly more sustainable footprint. The day I can uh, sign it off to say it's good to go and leave it alone, I'll be very happy. Uh, not because I haven't enjoyed it, but because it means I've completed it and it's all successful. I mean, you've a, you've a lot of people here today. You've got main nine rail companies, you've got loads of press people here today. What does that feel like? It's amazing that there's so much interest in it. It just shows that our time hasn't been wasted. Um, it means that there is people are interested in this sustainable transport solution and um, it'll be a, a good option for other 08 operators to convert theirs to hydrogen power. So plenty still to do on the Hydra Shunter and then it'll be tested on the line and eventually enter service here at the valley. Today, really, this is history being made right in front of your eyes. It's incredibly exciting. Please like and subscribe so you never miss an update and come and see us soon at the Seven Valley Railway.